I up this time with the cobbles and I've been done. But the promo that's been airing on SBS and viewed thousands of times on social media instead paints Dad Ashley in a horrible light. He was diagnosed with dementia during filming. Anybody gives any white kids any drugs, I'm going to tear him to pieces. I don't give a if he's a bikey. I don't give a if he's got. When I saw it, not only did I see my husband like put out there, betrayed as a, what do you call it, a bogan, a typical house, house but I, the comments that were... It just exploded on social media. It also catches Ashley doing something every Australian does at some point, but would never dream of seeing it on national TV. I don't remember farting or anything like that, but, you know, I'm at home, I fart, you know what I mean? I'm not expecting people to film me and frame me on social media. If Tony Abbott farted, would they put it on television? I'm just so, so gutted by it because my husband is not like that. My husband is not having, showing the him out the front of our house farting, putting that on national air. Petta is well known in the community for her volunteer work. She says the crew filmed hours of community events with her, none of which have made it into the show. My hard work, all my good work could go. That's what's damaging. That's it. All right, darling, you'll be right. This is not a documentary, this is trash television uh, at its worst, publicly funded poverty porn. Hello. Blacktown Mayor Hello. Steve Barley and local MP Prue Carr are helping the Kennedys fight to have the show suspended. They too are appalled at what they've seen. It doesn't actually provide any substance to the, uh, the story. It doesn't have any justification. It just attacks people at their most vulnerable moments. This was going to be a documentary that would show what people can achieve um, against adversity and rising above that and doing well in their lives. And they agreed in good faith to be part of that because of that promise. But instead, it's been the opposite. They've used particular footage to paint Mount Druitt in a negative light. They believe people like Petter Kennedy should be applauded for her community work, not destroyed for a TV show. All the different works that she's helping, none of that's mentioned. This is just attacking the integrity of these people and exposing them to the public in a negative light uh, and they will be just trashed there the next day, their reputation gone. We don't drink, we don't smoke, we're not on drugs, we don't gamble, you know, all our money's used on medical or in our house, right? and for us to be labelled like that, where I'm sitting on the veranda farting, they think, what, these bitches are big fat slob, they're looking for an easy way out or something, you know? They're not the only ones uh, unhappy you know, with their portrayal. Oh, I'm going to pack up and leave if it hits the air. Go. You're going to leave town? No. I don't think we should stay mate. Billy Joe Wilkie and Bob Quinn are shown in the program oh, affected yeah. by drugs and even using them. Like when I was pulling a bong, for an example, like, do you know what I mean? Like, that's my business, do you know what I mean? Not everyone else's, so it shouldn't have been broadcast.